Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I really appreciate you stopping by. So today I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time and it's all products that are affordable drugstore products under $10. And then I kind of put in brackets, uh, mostly $10. So uh, there's a couple of items here that I think they were like $10.99. So just a, a, a little bit more, but not by much. So um, if you are curious to see what products I am using in this video, let's get right into it. So before we jump in with the makeup, I want to talk about one product that isn't makeup related, but it's a new product I just picked up yesterday. My bestie over on her channel, Hey Jess, she tried this product out. She actually did a whole video, like a, a, re a review on it. So I said, I have to try it because her hair looked amazing with it. So it's this new L'Oreal, it's called Eight Second Wonder Water. And I don't know why more people aren't talking about it because it is amazing. It is a lamellar, I'm gonna say lamellar rinse out, no silicone, no way down. But my hair right now, I used it, so this is the first time I used it this morning. I'm not gonna go too into too much detail because I, I don't want the whole video to be about this, but it's amazing. My hair feels so soft. Even my split ends, they're usually like a little bit rough on the edges. Everything feels really smoothed out. My cuticle feels like they just are amazing. Look past the grays. Don't go to, don't go there with the grays. Um, I need a really bad um, highlighting job done, but it's hard to get into my hairdresser because she only works a couple days a week. So, uh, and I work Monday to Friday, so it's kind of hard trying to coordinate it up. So um, we will be going to get a coloring because I am in desperate need of it, but the actual texture of my hair it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe it. So, uh, and when I, uh, the box is uh, on the one side of the box, it shows you like all these uh, before and after shots of women's, the back of their hair. And really it did that when I looked in the mirror, I took a mirror and I looked in the back of my hair and it really smoothed everything out because I have a lot of damage to my hair. I've, you know, I, I color my hair, I flat iron my hair, I blow dry my hair. So all of that damage gives me a lot of split ends, but this was amazing. So yeah, if you're looking for a good product, especially when you have longer hair, I, I mean, for me personally, I get a lot of split ends just because my hair is longer but this is amazing. So I'm gonna, um, what I'll do is I'll link Jess's video below if you really want a more in-depth uh, review of the product and she does an amazing job of it. So um, I'll, li I'll link her stuff below, but um, yeah, if you wanna check that out, it's great. I'm, I'm, I just wanted to show, kind of show you what my hair is looking out right now because I'm gonna put it back for the tutorial. Yeah, it's just so soft. It says to use it between two and three times a week. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how, this is my first treatment and it was amazing, absolutely amazing. So let's get into the makeup. So I thought this was fun. I haven't, I've thought about doing these videos before uh, because I love affordable drugstore products. I, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I, I love high-end stuff too, but I mean, my go-tos are always the drugstore brand. And uh, when I thought about, you know what, I wonder if I have enough stuff here uh, that I could do like, you know, I, I know a big thing is doing like under $10 and that sort of thing. So um, I wanted to, do, I just had to go pick up a few new products because I wanted to try some new stuff. You know me, I love trying new stuff. So uh, the one of the first new products that I went and picked up is the CoverGirl True Blend. This is a skin primer. I bought this uh, skin smoothing. There was about six or seven, I think, different types, different things like they would do like color correcting. I think one was uh, the one I had in my hand because I was debating between this one and, the, and that one was it has sunscreen in it. So I had like SPF in it. But uh, you know what? I thought, you know what? I wear sunscreen anyhow, so I don't really need that. But I, yeah, the skin smoothing, I really wanted to do that. I think there was a, like an illuminating one and oh yeah, I can't remember what all the other types are. So I've already moisturized and put my eye cream on. Oh, this is really nice. This feels like a really soft lotion. Hmm. And this, it has like a, a tiny bit of a scent, but nothing, nothing like that's gonna stop me from using it. It's not like too overpowering. Oh, that's really nice. That is leaving my skin really nice and smooth. And it, I can just see in the mirror here that it has kind of blurred just in this area right here. So, oh, that's very nice. I've seen it, I know it's been out forever, but uh, I've wanted to try it for a, a while now. I have a, the Maybelline one and I love primers. I, you know, they're my go-to. So, so while we're letting that sit, I'm gonna do my brows. And I hadn't picked up my CoverGirl for quite some time. So I want to go back to using my CoverGirl one. I have this one in the shade Rich Brown. And I think the last one I tried was Soft Brown. 
So I, when I would look at my eyebrow, sometimes I thought it was maybe a little bit too light. So I thought I would go with something a little bit darker this time. And I like this one because it has the little, uh, the little spoolie on the end. And then just a really nice, really nice pencil. So we'll go in and do that first. So I hope everybody is having a good week or had a good week. This is Saturday as I'm filming this. So I hope everybody's doing well. And I'm just gonna fill in any little sparse areas, which believe me, I have a lot of sparse areas. But yeah, no, I actually, I like the color of this one than my other one. This is an, a little bit more of a better shade, I think for my eyebrow hairs. Oh, and I should tell you as I'm doing this, it just dawned on me. I should tell you the prices. So that primer was, so that primer was uh, $9.99, the CoverGirl primer. Then this eyebrow pencil was $9.99 as well. But keep in mind that I also live in Canada, so prices sometimes um, are a little bit higher here. So depending on what country you live in, uh, you probably can find it for under $10. What I really like about the, this eyebrow pencil, it lets you, just really allows you to get some feather-like strokes up in these, especially in these front parts here. I try and start in the middle of my eyebrow and then kind of work uh, some fine little strokes into the into the front here. But yeah, I love that pencil. I don't, I, again, it's been forever since I've, uh, since I used it. So uh, next we are gonna go in with my absolute, I used to use this for years and years and I don't know why I kind of stopped using it. I think it's because I have so many other foundations that I like to try and that sort of thing. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have this one in the Hydrate and Smooth because my skin is dry. This is normal to dry skin. There is a matte version as well. So if you have more oily skin, you can uh, try that one. And I just have this one in the shade 120, a classic ivory. Okay, so this is one of those products that I said was 10.99. This is the price point here for, uh, for the Fit Me is 10.99. So uh, that's one of them. So I always give my foundation a good shake. And this one is a little bit on the, well, I shouldn't say a little bit, it is on the runny side. I just take a little bit right on my hand and that should be good there. But yeah, I can see like how it's quite, quite runny. It's already running down my hand here. And this one, you can definitely build up. This does have a little bit of SPF in it. So it's SPF 18, which isn't, I mean, like I said, I use sunscreen anyhow, so that doesn't really uh, bother like it, it would be good um, if it maybe had a little bit more uh, SPF in it but you'd have to put on a lot of foundation to get the full effects of that uh, that much uh, SPF so let's first go in and I just do a light hand first and you can always build this one up but I think when you have more mature skin I think less is more that's kind of my motto and this is pretty lightweight it gives you I'm going to say light to medium coverage, which again, I, I like that. And it has a tiny little bit of a scent, but nothing that, you know, make it kind of smells like a little bit like a, like flowers or roses or something, but yeah, it, it's not anything that I don't think would be too overpowering for anybody. And I always run it down my neck. So everything looks seamless. And sometimes I'll even do my ears and this one just blends in really nicely. Uh, but it looks very natural looking like you can still see my natural skin is is poking through So I do like that And it doesn't make me look cakey looking by the end of the night. Yeah, and I think it just it's really uh, Like a breathable type of foundation as well. So if you're looking for just a really nice Affordable foundation, I would highly recommend uh, the fit me one. So next is concealer and the cover girl so I'm using my so this is the CoverGirl True Blend, and I have this in the shade uh, Golden Natural, so M100. And this is retailing for, so this is the other product that was $10.99. So the concealer, I'm just going to put it right in where the darkest pigmentation is. I don't want to put any more because otherwise it'll start looking really, like I have really dry uh, skin under my eyes. So I try not to use a lot of concealer putting it just where that darkest pigmentation is and then it's not going kind of all over your all over the place and I always bring a little bit up onto my eyelids and I use that as my eyeshadow primer I don't I think I've said that before I don't really have an eyeshadow primer like an eyelid primer so I just use concealer if you guys know of a really good eyelid like an eyeshadow primer let me know in the in the comments below I'd like to know uh, sort of what brands you've tried but I like this one it does a really nice job of covering up 
those dark circles that I have. And I did a comparison of this one and the L'Oreal um, a few months ago. And this one, I, I did prefer this one over the L'Oreal. Uh, it was mixed reviews because some people are, are like total L'Oreal fans. and uh, But I just found it for me, I found it just a little bit too drying where this uh, CoverGirl one, I just find has a little bit more um, hydration under it. I don't look like really, really dry underneath um, at the end of the day. So I do really like that CoverGirl. And then I also find it doesn't settle really into under my fine lines here. Uh, so that's a really good test for a concealer because otherwise sometimes I just get so much uh, like build up just kind of in that area there. So uh, I always do try and smooth it out a little bit, but that concealer is really good for not doing that. And then I'm also gonna take that concealer and just highlight the center of my face and I do that just to sort of uh, everything evens out from the from the concealer that I put under my eyes. You can certainly use like a lighter uh, concealer if you wanted to do more of a brighter highlighting but I just use the same the same one or it depends on what kind of look I'm going for. Today I'm just doing more of a you know me more, more of a neutral but we'll see uh, how this all works out because there's a couple of new products I'm excited to try. And then for powder today this is a product I've used many many times and you can barely make out what it says so <laughs> it's my Rimmel it's called Stay Matte and like seriously like I use this a lot as you can see this I have in the shade um, it's 001 uh, transparent so that's not going to deposit any more color on my face which I don't want I just want a little bit of powder just and I, this one doesn't settle into my lines and make me look all cakey so this one's a really good one if you're just looking for something to just kind of tone down which is what I'm looking for and which was surprising actually for this one is because I'm not usually a big fan of like uh, pressed powders like this I, I like more of a like a loose setting powder like my um, the Maybelline Fit I like that one there was a uh, some other like if you want to make maybe a little bit of color there was some other shades but yeah I like the transparent one because it's not it's just taking the shine away but not depositing any more color. So highly recommend that one. And that one is, just let me find my list here. This was $9.99. So again, a really good price. So then for an eye palette today, I recently purchased, this was about a month ago, uh, The Revolution. And this is the Emily Edit, The Needs. So this was a collaboration, I'm assuming, because on the back here, they have a picture of Emily Noel, which she's a really big uh, YouTuber. I think she's at like a million subscribers, but I really like her because she just seems so down to earth and yeah, she just, I love how she presents herself on camera. So I really enjoy uh, watching her. So it's a really nice palette. I haven't even used it yet. And so this will be our first time. Oh, so that's really pretty. And look at the mirror. Oh my goodness, you guys, it gives you just a huge mirror. So I think, cause this is, it says it's a face and an eyeshadow palette. So I think if I'm looking at it, so I'm, I'm assuming that that's the bronzer. I think that's the blush and maybe a highlighter. And I'm, this might be a highlighter too. Although it's not, it's not like very shimmery. Like that one is definitely more shimmery. And then there's like a bronzer on the end there. So, and then they have, these are the eyeshadows. And what I liked about this is that they're all mattes except for this middle one here is, has a little bit of shimmer in it. This I got for $5.99. Amazing, like, cause I know that the regular price of this was quite expensive. Uh, so I was really happy when I saw it. So I grabbed it as soon as I saw the price on it. So I think what I'll do is go in with, and they all have a name, so that's good. I like it when they have names. This one here is called uh, Peace. So it looks like a really nice, transition shade color. This is just my uh, NYX number 16 blending brush. It's my absolute favorite brush. Love it. And I'm just going to dip it. I don't know how pigmented these are. So I'm just going to dip my brush. Okay. So that's a nice color. It's nice for as a transition shade. It's very neutral. And this was just one palette that I picked up. I know that there was, uh, I think she's done some other palettes with uh, Revolution. Uh, but this one, I from the outside packaging, it looked like it would be more my shades. You know, I'm a neutral girl. Yeah, so that shade turned out really nice. And what I like is that there was no fallout. That was, that's, that's pretty good for a drugstore uh, product. That's really good. So next I'm going to go in, there's two browns here. One is called 
faith and one is called hope. I think I'm going to go in with the one that is called faith and we'll see how that turns out. And I'm, this one I'm just going to use my uh, e.l.f. This is a fluffy eye blender brush, but I like this one because it's a little bit more dense so I can kind of pack the color on a little bit better. And the colors are have some good pigmentation to them so the payoff is really good. Okay, so so far I'm really liking how um, much pigmentation there is in the shadows. Like it, they're turning out really beautiful, very nice. So I'm going to go in with this, it's like a rose tone, it's called Honesty. So I'm going to go in with that one next. I'm just going to deepen up this end part here. And I'm just bringing it over like maybe a third of the way over. I'm not taking it right through the whole crease. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. I think this palette's been out for a while. There's so many choices at the drugstore, I find. But this one is really impressing me just because of uh, like there is no fallout. I was a little concerned about that when I do my face first and when I'm using a new palette, whether there's going to be fallout. But yeah, like there is nothing and it's blending really nicely. Yeah, that's really pretty. I, the colors are really soft. That's what I'm liking about it. So next I'm going to go into this really dark shade. It's called Passion. And looking at it from this distance, it looks like a really, really dark, like a plum color. And then I'm just going to use, this is my e.l.f. It's just like a little, uh, it's a number 15. It's just like a little pencil brush. And putting it right on the very edge and just working that in deepening that outer corner up. Okay, so I think I, that's enough for the eyes. It blended really nicely, love the colors. So now I'm just gonna take those two shades there and I'm going to run those. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of each and I'm gonna put that under my uh, lash line. And I'm not gonna take it all the way through. I'm just gonna take it about halfway. And then I've just taken a little bit of that passion color. And this one is so pigmented. And I'm just putting a tiny bit under that, mixing them all together. But wow, that is so pigmented. My goodness. I'm kind of going through like a lash phase right now of using false eyelashes. So I picked up another pair. I'll show you the ones that I picked up at the store. But first we're going to just line my uh, top lid. And so this is the uh, that Age Perfect. I did a whole video on the whole L'Oreal Age Perfect line. Uh, and I'll, I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it yet. But this is um, Age Perfect pencil and it looks like that. It's really soft. I love how it glides on and I have this in the shade brown but it doesn't tug on your eye at all as you're putting the eyeliner on. So I just I just need to help my eyelid out a little bit and I pull it just a tiny bit. Now I don't do a, a big tug because I don't want to get all these wrinkles in the area here but I just bring it right through and just to kind of give myself a, just a nice soft line. But the pencil is so creamy. I've never had a pencil like this where it just glides on effortless, effortlessly, really. And then what you can always do if you don't like the harshness of, of a lot, what the line looks like, you can always take, like I just have this flat angle brush. It's a Real Techniques one. And I just take that and very gently just try to diffuse the line a little bit. And I would do it more if I was wearing just plain mascara today, but I am going to be wearing uh, lashes, so uh, it'll be hidden by the lash line. So before I put my lashes on, I'm just going to give my lashes a coat of mascara. So I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is, again, one of my favorites. And this retailed, I believe it was $6. And try not to hit my skin like I just did there. If you ever do that, just let it dry. I can kind of see how I just got a tiny bit there. And then uh, I usually just get like a Q-tip and it'll just flake it off. It won't, uh, you don't, you're don't. you not going to smudge it. If you do it right now while it's wet, you're just going to smudge it everywhere. But I'll show you in a second. And I like this mascara. It's not uh, like an overly wet mascara. It really gives your lashes some volume. Okay, and I'm just going to take that Q-tip and just very gently brush it off. And then it's gone. That simple. So just a little trick for you. So I'll do my bottom lashes when I'm, I will come back and do them after I put the falsies on. I'll do my bottom lashes and I'm also going to do my waterline. But I just picked these up. They look like they were actually brand new. But they're the Ardell Naked Lashes. And it says it blends seamlessly with the Invisiband. So this shade, this is just called, they're 424, I guess is the number on them. But I really wanted to try them. So I haven't even had them out of the package yet. I'm going to go and trim them and put them on. And I will see you in one second.
So those lashes turned out so pretty. I think I just have to trim this end up just a little bit more, but that's okay. We'll, we'll live with what we got going on right now. But these are so pretty. Oh my goodness. And it is true. Like they say, they're trying to give you more of like a natural look to your lash. And that's what these did. They are beautiful. So, and then I didn't realize that even the first time um, when I use this liner, I didn't realize until I just used it right now, I was just trying to fill in some of the, the spots on the top of the lash. There's the, the tip, but right here, if you can see it, that actually is like a little uh, holder. So if you're holding the pencil like this and putting your eyeliner on, this is really nice for people because this is a, a line for older mature people to wear. That's why it's called age perfect. Say you have arthritis or your hand is shaky, that sort of thing. This has a nice little grip that when you're putting it on, I thought that was just genius of them. That is awesome. So yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't realize that the first time I was using it. So that I think that's such a nice idea. And this is the packaging. If you actually are looking for it, that's the packaging for it. But I thought, what a great idea. How, how nice of them to do that. So yeah, just a little, just a little thing I just came across. I'm just gonna uh, line my lower lash line. But I picked up, this is the Rimmel, it's called Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. But this is called a 230 Deep Ocean. Isn't that a nice pencil? Isn't that nice and blue? I thought it was so pretty. I don't think I've had like a blue eyeliner before. I've had blue mascaras, but I haven't had like an actual blue eyeliner like this. And this one retailed at, just give me a second. Uh, this one was $8.99. So it has a nice little tip like that and it's waterproof. So that's great for doing your, uh, anything to do with, with your waterline. You want anything waterproof. And I try not to touch my face now that I've put all my makeup on. Oh, that is really pretty blue. Holy smokes. Wow, that's beautiful. And I always take like just a couple of swipes in case my eyes are watering at all. But that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Oh, nice. And Rimmel is really good. They have some really good products for uh, lining your inner uh, line. It uh, also has like a nice beigey shade that I wanna try. Uh, yeah, so those are the, that's a really good line if you're looking for a nice eyeliner. And I'm just gonna do now the mascara on my bottom lashes. Wow, that is so blue. I've, <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm blown away by the, uh, how blue it is. And I always kind of do this under my lower lash line just because I don't want the mascara hitting my skin there. Okay, so next up is bronzer. So today I am using the Rimmel. This is natural bronzer and it's a waterproof bronzing powder. That's what it looks like. And then I have this in the shade 022 Sun Bronze. But what intrigued me about this one to purchase this, oh, and by the way, this one came in at, uh, this was $6.49, so really affordable bronzer. But it won the 2015, I just wrote it down here so I wouldn't forget, the 2015 L Beauty Award for Best Bronzer, so like L Magazine. So I thought that was pretty good to get a, an award from them. But this is the shade. So I haven't, again, haven't tried this. This is brand new. Very, very pretty. It almost seems comparable to the City Bronzer, uh, Maybelline City Bronzer that I have. So again, I don't know how pigmented this is. It looks like a quite a nice tan color, but I first go in with a light hand and then you can always build it up. There was a whole bunch of different shades. I went with this one uh, because it was a matte bronzer and I'm already gonna be putting like highlighter on and I think the blush that I have, I have to check, has might have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. Yeah, I wanted to kind of keep it neutral today with some matte. And I always use bronzer. I love just warming the face up, especially, especially at this time of year, because I can be looking pretty pale about now. But the nice thing about a, a, a matte bronzer is you can also use that for contouring. It's better like to use a, a matte product when you do contour. I'm not really gonna do any contouring today just because this isn't, this is just gonna be like a, a neutral look. It's not a, like a glam type of look today. But yeah, you can kind of see in here that Maybelline is kind of settling in these lines here. But like I said, there's very few foundations that I get that won't settle. 
I am loving. I keep looking at the blue on my waterline. That is incredible. I can't wait actually to try that on my top uh, lash line. And then I always, I mean, sometimes it's hard with the bronzers and the blushes and stuff because I do have uh, hyperpigmentation on my face here. So again, it depends on if I'm doing more of a glam look, I'll try and cover that up a little bit with some concealer because I like to look bronzy. I take it down my nose and I also do like a little bit on my chin. Yeah, this turned out to be a nice, nice color, nice bronzer. And I can still see my skin peeking through, which is nice from that foundation. And this was a product I used years ago. I had my absolute favorite CoverGirl uh, blush. So it's this one here. Now I think this is a different color than what I used to wear. This was, this is a rose silk. I think the one I used to use was more of a pinkier one. They probably discontinued it. That's how long ago that I used to use these ones, but I don't know why I stopped using them. They're such a nice little blush. And this one retailed at, so this was $5.99. Like it's so affordable. It comes with a little brush. Like I, I'll never use the little brush, but like it's so it's such a pretty color. So that when it's like, it's more of like a peachy color, which is, again is right up my alley. Uh, I can't remember how, if this one was like really chalky, sometimes blushes from the drugstore can be really chalky. So I'm just gonna take my brush and see how powdery it ends up being. Okay, so it's not too bad, but it does have, you can kind of see, I, I don't know if the light's picking up, but that does have a little bit of a, a shimmer to it, but I just kind of go like this and stipple it and then brush it in. I think you have more control that way. Yeah, it does have a little bit of, I can see the powder kind of falling around here, but for $5.99, like seriously. But that's really pretty. I like that one. I don't bring it too far down on the apples of my cheeks, uh, but I do try and blend it right into my hairline. Yeah, so that's quite nice. I like that one. Again, a long time since I've used that. Now we are gonna go into highlighter, my favorite. So I picked up, this is the e.l.f. and I think it's brand new. Like I think the, there's a whole e.l.f. line that came out. This is Metallic Flare Highlighter. And I, I picked up the one in the rose gold shade. There was, I think two or three other ones. There was like a more of a goldy shade. And then I can't remember what the other one was but I like my rolls, rose gold, that's just my preference. And what I'd like to actually hear from you guys is what sort of brands would you like me to try out? Now I have done like single brand videos before. Like I think my second or third video was like all Maybelline. It's like, don't watch that one, don't watch it. It was like, I look back at some of my older videos and I kind of like cringe. But yeah, so I've done like a Maybelline one. I did a NYX one and I did a L'Oreal one, but I do wanna do like an e.l.f. because they came out with all these new ones. Uh, so I wanna do like a, a total e.l.f. one. This is so, oh, look at that. So that one, there it is. And it's just such a pretty, pretty color. Very, it's actually quite, as I'm putting on my finger, it's very iridescent because I'm thinking, well, I don't know if that really looks like rose gold, but we are gonna give it a try and let's see how highlighty this is. Oh, that's very, very pretty. So it's not too bad. I was wondering if it was like my Maybelline, that Maybelline uh, Master Chrome is just like blinding, but this is not bad. It's it's more on the subtle side, which is pretty nice. I tell you, Elf has really stepped up their game. Like they have such beautiful, affordable products. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price of this. Oh, so yeah, so this one was only $8. Like seriously, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. It just gives you a really nice glow, nothing too harsh. Wow, that's gorgeous. Nice. This is just an e.l.f. This is actually a lip defining brush, but I don't ever use it for, it kind of looks like that, but I'm never gonna use it for as a lip brush. So I use it to do my, my spot highlighting. So I'm just putting some in the corners of my eyes just to kind of brighten that area up and look more awake because it's been a long week and we need to look awake. And I'm just gonna take a little bit also and put some right under my brow bone to highlight that area. Sometimes I just kind of shake my head. I'm like, really, is this was from the drugstore? Like this can rival high-end stuff. All right, that was, yeah, that's, that's, that is a beautiful little highlighter. <laughs> like seriously, for the price point, how can you go wrong? So now I was, I was debating what lip color. So I brought a couple of different ones in with me today because I don't know sometimes how the, if the eye look is too bold, then I go with more of a neutral lip. But you know what, it's, I'm gonna say it's not too, too bold today. So I brought in the Age Perfect Lip Liner. 
and that's what it looks like there. So a nice little nude shade. And then I picked up, this is a Rimmel, this is Stay Satin, and this is in the color As If. So it's that one there. I had seen this actually, I can't remember who I saw wearing this. It was, I was watching another channel. I can't remember who it was, but she, she was wearing this one and it looks so pretty on her. Like it was such a, it's like more of a brown, but it looked on her, it looks so pretty. So I've been wanting to give this a try, but then I also brought in that Age Perfect, uh, the one that has that, it's really coral looking with the moisturizer in the middle. And then I picked up a NYX, instead of my, like my nude shade one, this is more like a pinky to go with that lipstick. Well, I think I may go more neutral. I, I'll save this one for another video. I know I said that the last time, didn't I? Sorry. But it just is more, with that blue and stuff, it's just going to be really, I think, too much with a, like a pink lip and stuff. So let's go in with these two products. So this lip liner is really good, again, for mature. Uh, skin because it does it's not going to bleed and it doesn't tug on your lips at all it glides on really nicely yeah love that that's such a beautiful pencil and then let's go in with this it says stay satin so i'm hoping that it has because i didn't bring a gloss in here with me okay so oh it has a bit of a scent to it okay so i am loving this color Wow, that is so nice and it went on so well. And I mean, it's drying down a little bit right now. I can feel it kind of drying down, but it's not like sticky. Okay, so this is the completed look. Um, I just came back from kind of styling my hair in the bathroom there and oh my goodness, you guys, I can't believe like I, I'm not being paid to talk about this. I honestly am not. I just picked it up in the store this morning, but oh my goodness, I can't believe how my hair feels like because I, I just went and used the flat iron on it. Wow, like my hair is just so soft right now and it actually styled pretty good. Like usually I'm fighting with it for a while before I... Uh, but I just kind of went and did some flat ironing curls and stuff. And wow, it, it's, it's, I, I, I'm speechless. Like I, I will be using that. Holy smokes. I will be using that. So a couple things I'm pretty impressed with. Again, some of these are products that I had, right? Like I told you the Maybelline uh, Fit Foundation and that sort of thing I had, but loving the color of the Rimmel, loving the actual texture of it. It's not sticky. I'm kind of like, mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. It's, it, it, it's not leaving those little bits of residue on your, on your lips. So I am loving that Rimmel. Like I am very impressed. It's the first time I've actually used a Rimmel, uh, any sort of lip product. So liking that a lot. Like the bronzer. I think the bronzer did a really nice job. The, this one here, the Rimmel, the natural one. So I'm liking that one. Love the e.l.f. Uh, highlighter. Like it is just stunning. Like I can't believe for the amount that you're paying for that, which I think, what did I say? $8. That is amazing. Like that is beautiful. And it just gives you such a nice little glow. So really liking that. I really enjoyed using this palette, the Emily palette. I think it turned out so pretty. And uh, look at like, look at that mirror you get with that. I don't want to put too much on my, on my light on there, but that's like a huge mirror to put your makeup on. And the colors were beautiful, very pigmented. So really liking that. Uh, the lashes I'm loving because they do look so natural looking. Like I said, I have to trim that one just a little bit. I can kind of see it's just a little bit hanging over, but we'll do that. I'll do that the next time I wear them. I'm glad I, I got the CoverGirl uh, eyebrow pencil. I darkened that up a little bit, so I'm glad I did that. But overall, very impressed with all the products that I bought. Uh, the primer, I think that... Uh, that really helped that one there that really helped that Maybelline fit foundation I am really happy how this all turned out let me know I really want to try this this lipstick out I haven't used it I'm dying to try it but it would have uh, I don't think it would have complemented the look very well today it would have been uh, too color miscolor coordinated so uh, but uh, leave me down like a comment below whether you want me to do like I, I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a spring look maybe some uh, bright colors that sort of thing so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that so if you haven't done so already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that little notification bell and that way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.